All right, so next project is making a pair of container for the front door. So I picked up this really cute terracotta pot. I think the shape of the pot is called Long Tom. I guess it's because they're really long, but I really like that little lip here. I think they're simple but elegant and they're very small, but we don't have a lot of space on our front door. So I think those will be perfect. Sorry to interrupt. <gasps> The last time, you know what happened to that tea? I ended up putting some, <laughs> some soil in it. Mmm, the... a godsend. Let me bring some plants. First plant I want to use for this project is this really cute little skinia. I think this is the perfect winter plant with a cute little berry and the glossy leaves. This will be very striking. Then I think I'm going to tuck in a little hucora. So it looks a little bit sad right now, but you will pick up a little bit more when the temperatures will rise. I really love the variegation and the underleaf color. They're really beautiful and they look like this all year round. Then I have a couple of elebores. So this one has lots of little buds. I need to clean it up a little bit because this is the old foliage. And then I could not resist this little flat of violas at the garden center. I think that will be really beautiful together. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'll try to make them as symmetrical as possible. Let's get started. We're just at the end of January now, so we'll have a couple of months still to enjoy those. So because those will be backed up against the wall next to the front door, I think I'm going to do a tall centerpiece at the back and then two plants at the front. I think I have room for that here. <laughs> oh, so I've just put a little bit of compost in that pot. Look at that. Nice and wood bound. I'm going to be happy to have a new pot. Looks like I have three little bushes. I think I'm going to need my garden knife and shoe. This is the best little garden gadget I have found so far. Already you can measure, but you can also slice and cut. Aha. All right. Well, hopefully little skimia will survive this. I'll use the other half in the sister pot. What I'm doing, as you can see here, I'm preparing a little soil barrier to put the plant not directly against the the pot but so that the roots are in contact against some soil all right second plant is a little euchra look at that do you see there's a mama slug and her baby okay little guys you're going to go bother someone else instead of putting it straight down in the soil I'm going to try to tip it so that it can spill a little bit over so what I'm going to need to do is add some soil to prop it up I'm going to raise the level underneath here a little bit and this I'm, I'm expecting is going to start to fill in in a month or so when it starts growing on a little bit more and it looks like we have room for one more big plant which I have to decide I think I'm going to pop a little elebore here just need to trim it a little bit let me grab my pruners <laughs> good on camera do you want to see the secret just set that up. I'm putting soil everywhere. I have little end warmers in my gloves and that's making the whole difference. I was shivering, we had to stop filming several times because of the cold. Okay, no, this was what I was trying to hide, that I buy plants on sale. No, don't show that. It's a really natural process for elebores that you have to trim like the old foliage that actually encourages more fresh blooms. So we're going to trim anything that looks a bit diseased or dead or shriveled in any way or too old you have to be ruthless the plant looks so much better don't be afraid if you're on the on sale section and you see something that looks a bit dodgy sometimes you can you can save things as you can tell i've removed a lot of extra soil from around my root ball because I want to fit everyone in a bit of close quarters. If you have a limited garden budget like me, it's a really good idea to invest in perennials because they come back year after year and you can use them in containers and then pop them in a landscape. So you get double use out of them. And I think that's really cool. I'm just popping in a bit of soil everywhere. And I think we still have a little gap here. And now for the secret weapon, look at those. A cute these little violas. I love that they are all of different colors. Come on. Doesn't that look so cute? And of course, we can expect more blooms out of these. Grand reveal. Can I have a drum roll? <gasps> I didn't notice that. <laughs> Casual. It's okay. It will regrow. Well, we need to clean up the pot and then do the sister. 
for the sister pot, I wanted to repeat the interest and the color scheme so that the two containers would work together as a pair. So I repeated some of the same planting and introduced a couple of differences with the Hebe and a different type of viola. I absolutely adore how they turn out and they are now on my front door looking very pretty. I hope this inspired you. See you next time. Bye!